in LA, the behavioral norm can be summed up in, in really one word. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, narcissistic. Um, no, no. Uh, Self-centered. Well, yes. But really, the behavioral norm in LA is, um, is, is inconsiderate. That's what people are here. That is the behavioral norm in Los Angeles. People are just inconsiderate. And people are inconsiderate in every fucking way. Um, they're, they're inconsiderate it when they're talking on the phone, if they're, if they're conducting business about my script, which is probably really just some shitty web series. Um, but you'll have people like just talking real loud in the coffee shop, you know, and people do this thing when they talk on the phone where, where they talk on the phone in public and they walk around in circles. Like they're playing fucking ring around the rosy on their on their fucking cell phone. Where's my cell phone? Okay, whatever. This is my new cell phone, you know. And they're and they're walking around, you know. Uh, and yeah, you know. And so like, um, you know, I can go ahead and uh, fix that, you know. But you know, we're probably gonna ask for a new budget and all that. And you know, yeah, go ahead and send me the script. And they're walking around, uh, in a circle, like a fucking yuppie zombie i guess um and it's just it's extremely inconsiderate uh people drive here extremely inconsiderate um uh the ghetto people here are inconsiderate the yuppies are inconsiderate the rich people are inconsiderate and the middle class are inconsiderate and when you live in a place like that no matter what how you are as a person um you will adjust to the behavioral norm of your city um, and old Raymanator does not like to be inconsiderate. I, I'm a very, I, like I said, I'm a sweetie. I like to treat people with respect. Even people that don't deserve respect, I treat, I try to treat with respect. Um, people I don't necessarily like, I, I, I try to treat with respect. Um, but when you live in a city that is so inconsiderate of everything, um, and so self-centered about themselves, you can't help but join in on the inconsiderateness, uh, every now and then. And, um, and, um, uh, I can think of one story recently where I just, where, you know, I just dived right on in. It's like, okay, you motherfuckers are going to be inconsiderate. Then I'm going to be inconsiderate. You inconsiderate motherfuckers. Um, this was, this was uh, the last time I went to a coffee shop and I was going there uh, before the gym. And so I'm going there before the gym and uh, I get up early. Old Raymanator wakes up like around 5 a.m. And I actually play Apex for an hour uh, at 5 a.m. And so I'm after I, I go to the I'm in my gym clothes. I go to a coffee shop at 6 a.m. Uh, on a Saturday morning. Now, if you're anywhere in L.A. at 6 a.m. on a Saturday morning, you are uh, alone. It's almost like uh, World War, the Armageddon happened and you're the last person alive because everyone's hungover. Everyone, no one wakes up early in the morning except for um the workers that have to work at 6 a.m and even then it's like no i don't know why you're working at six in the morning no one else is awake except for old raminator and so i go to this coffee shop at 6 a.m in the morning where no one is there i think there is probably a couple couple people there and uh but they've already ordered their drinks and um i i walk in and and these two um late girls at the counter Yes, they were of the millennial generation. Uh, these two girls at the counter, as I walk in um, and step up to the counter, are having a conversation. Now, that's fine, obviously. But when someone walks in and comes up to the counter, what you're supposed to do is say, Hi, sir. How are you? What can I get for you? Uh, instead, these two fucking millennial cunts uh, just continue on their conversation. Now, I understand if they didn't see me. But when you work in an empty coffee shop and your third customer of the day comes in, uh, I think you know that he's there. And I'm just standing there and these two fucking cunts continue having their fucking conversation like I'm not there. And they're talking about some fucking party or some shit and then some dude. Now I'm standing there for like 30 seconds, which is a long fucking time if you think about it. If you go to a counter service place and they know you're there and they don't acknowledge you, which is a big thing in LA, no one acknowledges you at any counter service place until they're ready. And so they're just, you know, and, and, and so they're just talking amongst themselves. I'm standing there for 30 seconds waiting for them to serve me. They know I'm there. I know I'm there. And finally, after, after they decide to finish their conversation, the fucking coffee cunt doesn't even look up and is like, yeah, I go, what can I get you? I, I, and I'm like, wow, wow. She, you don't even bother to look up when you finally acknowledge me. Not that I'm some narcissist that needs acknowledgement, but I kind of need, uh, I kind of need some coffee in the morning. 
Now, I'm thinking these are inconsiderate fucking bitches. So old Raymondator had a fucking plan. Now, I can kind of get like this before I have my coffee in the morning. I figured, all right, bitches, if you're going to be inconsiderate, I'll take your inconsiderateness and raise you my ass crack. Let me explain. So she's like, uh, yeah, hi, sir, can I help you? Or I think she, she didn't say that. She was like, uh, hi, hi, can I help you? And so um, I, I very calmly, she's still not looking up at me. Her friend's not even looking up at me. And I say, yeah, I'd like to order the steak and lobster, please. Now she looks up. She's like, excuse me? And I'm like, yeah, I'd like to order the steak and lobster. And, 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 and nothing is, no, there's no sarcasm or no irony in these millennials. She's like, uh, we don't have steak and lobster here. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay, I guess I'll get it next door. I could see that you've ran out today. And I very calmly walk out the door. Now, they're watching me as I walk out the door because they're just standing there like, what? Did he really want steak and lobster at this coffee shop? And so right before I walk out, I have my gym shorts on and I pull my pants down, revealing about half of my ass crack. And I do a little butt shimmy and walk out very calmly. Why? Because if y'all motherfuckers want to be considerate, I'll take your inconsiderateness and raise you my ass crack. So that's what two fucking millennial morons got to see. Two millennial morons working at a coffee shop got to see at about 6.05 in the morning. They got to see my little shimmying ass crack. I should charge them for that. I really should. Um, and I got a nice butt. It's nice and brown. It, it actually tans really well, right, T-Bone? Oh, T-Bone. Yeah, T-Bone, uh, he loves my butt. That, that totally didn't sound right. <laughs>